क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन द मेन फ्री पाथ फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉन ड्रिफ्ट इंक्रीज इज विथ डैश ओके द राइट चॉइस इज प्योरिटी ओके आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू सम कॉन्सेप्ट बियॉन्ड दिस इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स एक्चुअली इट्स नॉट इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ मेटीरियल साइंस सो लास्ट ईयर इन क्वेश्चन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन मेटीरियल साइंस क्वेश्चन वेर इंक्लूडेड बट प्रीवियस ईयर देर वर नो क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मेटीरियल साइंस फाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो वॉट इज मेन बाय मेन फ्री पाथ so if you know what is mean free path you should be able to answer this question fine so let us see what is mean free path first so <coughs> i'll explain you in detail what is mean free path consider any atomic structure i mean consider any solid material or whatever you consider okay in this the atoms are made up of you might have seen this kind of diagrams in your childhood like solids are tightly packed the liquids are loosely packed so some kind of material i'm choosing okay so assume that yeah this is an impurity material blue color is an impurity material fine so there are three impure materials so what happening i'm going to explain you right now so if there is some space this atoms will be in the continuous motion always so this this atoms will collide with the neighboring atoms or the impure atoms impure atoms will try to move and they'll collide okay even this will move and they'll collide so the time see this one atom this other atom or impure atom so the time taken by one atom to collide with other atom is known as lifetime lifetime of the carrier so the distance it travels before the collision the distance it travels the distance traveled by the particle or the electron or the atom it depends from phase it differ, uh, differs from phase to phase okay i mean it differs from concept to concept okay in various situations we'll use same term but it differ it, there you will be using electron somewhere you are using atom somewhere you are using proton all those things some atomic particles you use so the concept is same the time the distance traveled by one particle before colliding with other particle is known as mean free path mean free path i am repeating once again the distance traveled by the particle it can be electron or atom whatever before colliding with other particle is defined as mean free path and time taken to collide this from this point to this point from this point to this point whatever the time takes whatever it spends freely the free time it spends is known as its lifetime once it collides its lifetime will finish so this is the concept of mean free path what happens is when impurities increases when impurities increases the collisions will increase okay that is a basic physics you should know when the impurities increases the collisions will increase as the collisions increases see i'm telling you if impurity if impurity increases what happens collisions will increase as the collisions will increase as the collisions increase what happens the collisions fast they occur very quickly so mean free path decreases the path length decreases yes or no mean path decreases so if i write this converse statement if purity increases if purity increases then what happens collisions will decrease Colli as the collisions decreases the particle can freely travel they can freely they can happily they can travel for long time and long distance it can cover yes or no in this way mean free path increases this is a simple explanation by which you can easily answer this question without any difficulty you can go through this explanation what i have given here in the texted format the same thing will be there fine so if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates thank you